Marius here from Beyond Quail Farming. It's been a while since I've uploaded any videos of our farm. But a lot has happened in the past few months, been very busy. And today as well, I just finished my cage 10.0, what you want to call it. And today I'm going to weigh my birds, going to swap them into the new cage. I've got babies. That's three weeks old now. I'm going to move them into a bigger cage. I'm going to improve on my other two cages as well. I'm going to show you a little bit around. This is the new cage I just finished. I split it into three compartments. I think it's going to work very nicely. Very easy. Did everything myself. I put my birds in here, going to put my feeder in. I use this plastic plastic wire for the birds. I notice I don't get any bumble food anymore. I previously had it when I when they were on wire. Now they are on um, this plastic wire and I must say my birds look very healthy since I put them on these wires. Um, the whole cage inside my old coop, I put some LED lights in, it actually looks very nice at night, so all my cages should have enough light, I've tested it for a few, for a week now, with the lights running and the lights sh is shining into each compartment, um, yeah, that's it, now um, I'm going to improve on this cage, I'm going to put some um, shading cloth and to cover it in the back the same as I did all my other cages all my other cages I put shading cloth in it helps for the wind it helps to keep them a little bit cool in the summer because our summers get very very hot we get the degrees go easily to 40, 41, 45 degrees in the summer so that's why I'm putting shading cloth in and for the winter, it helps for the wind. Um, I'm going to take these English whites, I'm going to take them out, I'm going to put them in a new cage, I'm going to weigh them. They are six weeks old now. Six weeks old, so I'm going to weigh them today. I did start weighing them at four weeks, so four weeks, five weeks. Today is six weeks, I'm going to weigh them. I'm going to put them in a new cage. And I'm also going to weigh these birds. I already, I already um, split them. This is my males from my own hatch. And that side is my females. I'm also going to weigh them. And I'm also going to move them into my new cage here. And then I'm going to move all my babies from... Um, they are three weeks old now. There's 45 of them. I'm also going to improve on this cage, going to put some shading cloth on this one as well, that's why I want to move them out, give them a little bit more room, I feel it's a little bit too crowded for them in here, so they are going into one of, I'm still deciding on which one of them they are going in, so now I'm going to weigh those, weigh those, put them in the cages, move the babies into that one, and I will keep you guys updated on what's happening in the near future. While I'm busy swapping my birds out, I just thought it might be a good idea to show you guys how I do my way of my birds. So I'm going to start with my English whites. They are not very big birds. I'm still struggling to get them very big. So the first one, so 189 grams, 189, and they are going into the new cage. Welcome to your new home. Hundred and seventy-four. One seven four. There you go. Go, go. 
white man 225 welcome to your new home 225 218 218 This one feels nice Come, come Shh. No man 291 Okay, okay. Looks like that one is multi. And there they are into their new cage. Welcome to your new humble home. Big stuff. Water, food. They are away. Right, let's swap around for other birds. I can do it like this. There we go. Okay, so I'm finished weighing all my birds, finished with all the weighing. So at week four, my average for my males were 500, ah, sorry, 205 grams. That's 7.231 ounces average for my males. My females is 233.58 grams. That's um, 8.24 ounces. And my English wide average was 159.4. Uh, ounces 5.62 ounces the average on week four week five don't know what happened there because my males overtook my females on the average the males average was 262.17 grams that's 9.25 ounces average for my males females is 261.38 grams that's an average of 9.22 ounces uh, my English whites was 197.8 grams the average is 6.9 ounces at week six today my females over overtook my males again not by much but they did the males average is 277.5 grams that's 9.79 ounces uh, for the females they got the 280 grams on average that's 9.88 ounces and my english white picked up very nicely as well they are 219.4 average of 7.74 ounces on week six so there's two weeks still left of weigh and I must say, I'm quite impressed with my way. Um, the big inspiration to all of my quail is Zach from My Shire Farm, Terry from Katunix Corner, and Z um, Chris from Slightly Redneck. They are the three people that inspires me, that I'm looking up to, watching all of their videos, all their live shows. I'm trying. Because their time difference is a lot between us. When they have a live show, it's seven o'clock in the afternoon by them, and it's one, two o'clock in the morning here by us. So I'm trying my best, but they are my big inspirations. It's all of their cage buildings that I'm improvising from Terry, um, Chris. Zach is way too complicated for me, but um, 
they those are the three people that inspires me the most that I'm following on Facebook, YouTube. And um, thanks to them that um, I'm doing what I can on my... Sorry, the dog just distracted me. I'm just trying to see what my dog is doing. I got him from a puppy and I raised him with my chickens. So he doesn't usually chase my chickens, but when my chickens have a piece of bread or something in their mouth, he wants to eat it. She wants to eat it. Okay, anyway, anyway. So, and unfortunately, I would have given a lot to be at Qualcomm with all of you guys. Zach. Terry, to meet you all in person, Chris. I only watch you on YouTube and my heart, uh, our family's heart is broken for not being there. You can't be there. It's way, way too much expensive for us to get there. But hopefully in the near future we can attend one of those quail cons in the future. So to everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. As always. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.